Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Batang Sadong MP Nancy Shukri, who previously served as a minister in the Prime Minister Department under former Prime Minister Najib Abdul Razak, today said that Najib is still popular among the Sarawakians. Nancy was speaking at a forum organized by the Think Tank Institute of Democracy and Economic Affairs, or IDEAS, in Kuala Lumpur, where she urged the Pakatan Harapan government not to sideline Sarawak in its development plans. If you ask about Sarawakian now, for those who are really sincere about development of Sarawak, they're talking about politics of development, they still want Datuk Najib to be there. Why? Because it was Datuk Najib who made it happen for Sarawak. He went to all the rural areas. He came ever since he became a prime minister. I'm not trying to promote him, okay? I'm not trying to promote him, but let's face it. He knew what Sarawak needed. Foreign Minister Saifuddin Abdullah has confirmed that the government has indeed received an extradition request for the controversial preacher Zakir Naik from India. According to a report by Free Malaysia Today, Saifuddin said that he can't remember when the government received the said request, but Putrajaya has decided that they will not extradite the preacher. Zakir Naik is wanted in India where he is being charged with laundering 1.93 billion rupees or 155.66 billion ringgit in what is believed to be the proceeds of crime in India and overseas. Previously, Deputy Prime Minister Wan Azizawan Ismail said on the 16th of June that Putrajaya has not received a formal extradition request from India. The family of the missing pastor Raymond Ko has said that the family is hoping for an independent and credible task force to probe the disappearances of Pastor Ko and Amri Che Mat. Today, Raymond's spouse Susanna Liu pleaded with the PM and Home Minister Muhyiddin Yassin to get to the bottom of what happened to her husband with the appointment of an independent and impartial task force. Yesterday, the family questioned the composition of the currently formed task force for not having any women on board and also for including a police officer who was involved in the Suhakam inquiry into the disappearance. Mahathir then defended the task force, saying that it cannot please everyone. With the Dewan Rakyat coming back in session next week, one of the bills that is hot on the table is a motion to compel all members of parliament, including those in the opposition, to declare their assets. Today, the Prime Minister said that it is still going to be brought to the House, but whether it will be passed is another matter. <laughs> Karena parti opposition pun ada pengaruh, jadi kita tak harus guna pengaruh kita untuk mendapat pengairan. Mana yang kita akan bawa di Parlimen lah? Kita bawa lah, sama ada pilih tak pilih, itu soal lain lah. The government has declared the 30th of July a public holiday in conjunction with the coronation of His Majesty Al-Sultan Abdullah Riayatuddin Al-Mustafa Billah Shah as the 16th Yang Dipertuan Agong. Chief Secretary to the government Ismail Bakar said in a statement today that the declaration of the additional public holiday was made based on Section 8 of the Public Holidays Act 1951 for Peninsula Malaysia and the Federal Territory of Labuan. What this means, as Ismail explained, is that for Sabah and Sarawak, action will be taken by the respective state governments according to their own state constitutions. And that's it from me, ladies and gentlemen. For more stories, the place to go is kinetv.com. Don't forget to hit like, share, comment, follow, and subscribe. I'm Daniel Anthony. Thank you for watching and enjoy your long weekend.